What's up, Bam Bam? It's What's Up Wednesday. joining me for this week of what's up Wednesday huh I'm just looking out the window at the birdies and the bees that are flying by and stuff all right cool so this week of what's up Wednesday we are going to be talking about a little favorite of mine that I have in my store it's a uh, tree of life handmade and handcrafted by me and there he is he is made from beads of various different kinds, seed beads, bigger beads than that, and some lapis lazuli chips, which we will be talking about in a couple of seconds. Um, Pee Wee is joining me, so he might or might not be uh, deciding to jump up on the uh, jewelry station like he normally does to try to destroy things. Also, there are people that have decided to stand outside and scream, uh, mow lawns, and my across-the-street neighbor, I think he just had his kitchen redone, and he's sawing and working on stuff in his garage. So, uh, so you guys might be hearing stuff like that, along with random kitties meowing on the window seat because there are these big carpenter bees that keep on bouncing into the screen and Pee Wee wants to play with them. Right, Pee? I keep on telling you not to play with them, but he's a cat. He don't listen. All right, so back to the jewelry. All right, here is the lapis lazuli inspired tree of life that I was just talking about. He is made with different kinds of seed beads around the sides. Also smaller... <clears throat> <clears throat> purple seed beads on the bottom and the lapis lazuli chips here in the middle that make the tree branches. Now if you notice this is not completely perfect and that is because we didn't use memory wire. If you use memory wire that might actually be a little better to keep the shape because well it's memory wire that's what it does it keeps the shape. Um, I used regular wire from Beadalon when I first made this. I made this a little while ago when I first started crafting. So this one's an oldie but a goodie. Pretty cool. And it is two by two inches. So it's a pretty big pendant. Um, two inches. About like that big. That's not the scale on my camera. So that was just useless for me to show you. Um, we also used uh, seed beads, which are teeny tiny little beady beadies. See, on the bottom. And of course, since it is silver, and I love working with silver more than I do with any other kinds of um, metal and stuff. So 
nice little silver tone chain that comes with it as well so there is that now to give you a little background also you could also see that um lapis lazuli comes in many different shapes and sizes this is a a lapis lazuli stone that i have which will probably be featured in another episode of what's up wednesday coming up in a little while um rose gold a silver ohm and of course the fabulous stone so it's really cool not all stones are the same not all of my wire wrapping is the same so every time you get something from me it's going to be cool and different so you cannot duplicate it twice unless it's the novelty items that i have which we'll go over at another time so just to give you a little background on lapis lazuli as you look at this fabulous piece oh no it is a manifestation stone. It is also called denim lapis and lapis, respectively. And just to give you a little um, fun fact, King Tut's mask on the tomb has lapis lazuli around his eyes. So if you ever get a chance to uh, experience and witness that, there you go. Some fun fact for you to go and check out if you're able to get so close to that. Um, it's not a single mineral either. Uh, lapis lazuli is actually made of pyrite, calcite, and lazurite. And it literally means blue stone. So let's give you a little background on that. Uh, truth, inner power, is uh, what it's made for. It is um, a manifestation stone. So it's great to help maintain the connection between uh, our physical plane and our celestial planes. If you are so savvy to try to use it to astral travel or in your psychic meditations or in Reiki healing too. It works out really well. So here he is cute two inch by two inch round pendant on a nice silver chain because that's how I roll and there's more detail if you go into my Etsy shop which is etsy.com slash shop slash sensational gifts I'll put a little card in here so you could click it and go right to the shop to go and look at this and many other items I have in there um, this is $40 in there and you'll know why when you go and read the description and everything gives you a little background more background than I did actually just now and it's really cool I kind of wish I made two of them so I could keep one for myself I always do that when I make stuff because not all are the same and then I get inspired by something else and I create something else and it's, it's just a uh, you know downward spiral from there so pretty cool stuff very good statement piece helps with healing as well lapis lazuli will do that for you um, and it's a manifestation stone so if you're trying to manifest uh, anything in your life, whether it is good health, love, um, all different types of love, um, healing for friends and family or yourself, or just to just have a good day and stuff, you know, having this around your neck will actually, uh, you know, help you to focus and manifest uh, some good stuff in your life. So it's in the shop and um, that's about it. So I'll give you some uh, little pictures and where to go to shop for this bad boy and many other good things in my shop. And that's it for What's Up Wednesday this week. Uh, stay tuned. Next week we have more great stuff on in store, online, and on the YouTube videos. So subscribe, contact me if you have any questions, and thank you for watching. Bye.